I'm Marcy Winograd, an executive board member to the California Democratic Party representing the 41st Assembly District, which includes Pacific Palisades, Malibu, Brentwood, Santa Monica, and Woodland Hills. Today, I want to talk about what I think and what the California Democratic Party calls for uh, in terms of world peace and international relations in the National Democratic Party platform. Number one, we need to bring our troops home from Iraq without delay. This is the language in the California Democratic Party platform. Number two, we need to uh, turn the reconstruction of Iraq over to the Iraqis and provide for the financial stability of that country in the transition. I personally would like to see the word reparations very clearly stated within the Democratic Party platform. Given the Third Geneva Convention, Article 131, which says the United States, or rather the, the country, is liable for any of, quote, the grave breaches, namely torture or inhuman treatment, willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health. Article 141 of the Convention Against Torture also requires compensation to victims of torture. Britain has already paid compensation to 10 prisoners whom they abused in Iraq. Canada paid compensation to one person the United States tortured. The United States has paid nothing, zero, invoking the, quote, state secrets doctrine as a cover-up. This is wrong. In our California Democratic Party platform, we also say that it is time to repeal the authorization, the 2002 authorization to use military force in Iraq, that we oppose any further appropriations ex except those absolutely necessary for a safe and orderly withdrawal of our troops and that we call for an international conference to implement a ceasefire in Iraq. Now, uh, after World War II, we implemented a Marshall Plan, which provided for aid for the rebuilding of Europe. We need to do something similar in Iraq, and we need to be very clear about outlawing torture. We have been engaged, the United States government has been engaged in, in using uh, techniques such as waterboarding, which the California Democratic Party platform has clearly identified as torture, we need to outlaw torture, completely suspend torture, and abide by the international treaties which the United States is a party to. The California Democratic Party platform also calls for uh, taking a different approach to promoting world peace, and that approach specifically calls for uh, increasing literacy, using some of our financial might to increase literacy and child survival rates, to combat poverty, disease, and malnutrition and that we should ensure that the world's most dangerous weapons stay out of the hands of terrorists by expanding the pace and scope of programs to eliminate and safeguard nuclear materials. In that regard, our, pa our party platform in California also calls for funding and improving the non-proliferation assistance program, emphasizing the sequestering and ultimate elimination of nuclear weapons and weapons materials, including our own. And on the subject of nuclear proliferation, Personally, I would like to urge the Democratic Party Platform Committee to include very specifically and very explicitly in the platform a plank that calls for the reversal of the Bush nuclear doctrine, the Bush first strike nuclear posture review, which basically says that the United States has the right to uh, strike first using nuclear weapons against several countries, including Iran and China. We would never want this to happen. This would be, uh, you know, a horror show. And so we must establish that this is a new day in America, and we would never, ever want to use nuclear weapons preemptively or preventively, preventively as some call it, against any country. And in addition, the California Democratic Party platform says there should be no attack on Iran. One of our resolutions absolutely opposes any attack on Iran. Let us talk to Iran. And I know that our presidential candidate, Senator Bar Barack Obama, is saying exactly that, that we should talk to Iran. And so before we uh, use anything like what we have done in Iraq, which is, is so horrendous, really total annihilation of that country, let us be very clear that we believe in dialogue and we believe in peace. Thank you.